Okay, I'm reloaded. Big Don Pacino here. This is Oz and Ants number 31. I'm not even going to do no fan feel with this. Uh, I was, I had a haul already from uh, Show and Tell number 106. And number 106. Yeah. My last Show and Tell video. Hopefully I'm correct. And then I got a, a random act of kindness box from uh Diecast Clown Cardboard Garage. And he sent some pretty good cars. And pretty much what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a look at some of the featured model, not everything. Because, of course, I took the Lamborghini pack out. So, that Lamborghini 5 pack is going to be part of a giveaway. Which I'm trying to formulate now. Hopefully by... I don't know. Uh, Monday? Probably before then. Maybe this weekend. I'll have an announcement. And we're going to do some, another contest to get out of the way. Azap. But anyway, let's get into Oz and Ann's number 31. I think we got some a pretty nice selection of cars. And I took some cars out of my collection in the back row right here to com compare with some of the models. So let's get into the main lines. Let's get into this. This Nissan Evo, since it's the plain Jane of the bunch. Uh, this is from the Fast and the other five pack I had, the Fast and the Furious pie, five pack. I probably shouldn't even review this, but I'm checking, reviewing this because I think this is a new Ev Evolution casting from uh, Hot Wheels. They had a previous one, which was the... Uh, I think the Evo 10, and even when they did this, they had, before had the tail, the headlights part of the windshield done, but they did some extra articulation just for this model, which I think is the Evo 8. I have an Evo 9 here from, uh, Here from uh, Johnny Lightning, which I'm going to compare. I don't know. Let's put these to the side. You get on my nerves. Okay. This Johnny Lightning Evo 9 in the racing livery, rally art livery. I guess a, I think it is an actual rally car livery. Probably not as dustied up as it could be, but they did. This was part of a two-pack that came with a green and white Honda Civic in a racing livery too, but more of a track livery that's similar to this one, which I'm going to talk about later. Uh, like I said before, this is plain Jane right here. This one, of course, has all the details, but I'm just comparing pretty much the uh, scale and the scale don't look bad you can see some uh, similarities and like I said I suspect the green one is supposed to be an evil 8 and the white one is an evil 9 which is very little change. I think probably it's just some differences in the grills and maybe the lights, the front lights maybe. And, and it's probably some similarities. I mean, some differences in the real lights, but it's pretty much. And of course the Hot Wheels is very big. Evo is not supposed to be that big. 
not a big car. This is not as bulky as the Evo 10. Uh, casting they have. So, I mean, it, it is what it is. Came in a five pack. So, you know, other cars came in a five pack fully detailed. Of course, Johnny Lightning. I just did that for scale comparison. So, let me move on. Uh, next is the Honda, a newer model, which I've been excited to get. This is this Honda Civic. Which I need to... Honda Civic Si. I don't say what year it is, but I suspect it is an early 90s, early to mid 90s. Probably around 93 to 96, maybe. Yeah, it looks about the tail. Like, it's similar to this one, even though this is a hatchback. And again, this is a Johnny Lightning import heat. And even though this is the hatchback, it's a similar year to this. And I'm just doing this for scale reasons. And that's it. And you see, scale they didn't do too bad, I don't think. It's not too much bigger. But it is a little bigger. But this is the hatchback. And I think this is supposed to be the one. I guess the, the, the uh, I want to say the two by two or well, the one with the rear seat. They all are sedan sports sedans. I think they all had rear seats. Unless you had the, the limited edition uh, Dale Soul. And I don't know when that came out. I think that was a two-seater if I don't know that was the one with the removable top but I think that was an earlier earlier Honda Civic special model but um like I said I just brought the hatch back in for scale comparison but I mean on its own it's a pretty good car they they got the lights right Somewhat, yeah, is executed well. I wish it would have been on five spoke wheels. So, so I'm wondering what they're going to do with this car. They're playing, are they playing? The interior looks good too. This has real Asada all over it. It just has real Asada all over it. Between him and June, I may they have done so much for Hot Wheels. June has already pretty much left. He comes back to work on special projects, mainly like car culture stuff and uh, JDM. I mean, uh, Japanese historic stuff. But he pretty much doesn't work for them anymore on a regular basis. So, June. Right, Rio Asada, who was pretty much, in my opinion, his protege, protege picked up the stack slack. But I'm rambling, so let's move on. Let's get along with this uh, Nissan 300. I mean, Nissan 350Z. This is also was in that five pack, Fast and Furious pack, five pack that I had in. Uh, Show and tell the last show and tell video, and it is has headlights, they did this one right. And it previous models of this that did not have headlights and tail lights. See the Nissan badge, they even got the uh, the vents detailed, probably because real Asada maybe loves this car. 
The tail lights is done. The pipes are silver. Got the design, which is on the driver's side right, which is like a scarab beetle. And I have a 350. Is this 350 or this 370? Oh, man. Should have got a 350. This is 370Z. So I kind of messed that up. I thought this was 350. I could have broke out a 350. I probably will on the next video. I'll just use this for scale. Because the 370 pretty much is the same size as the 350. It's just the upgraded model. The lights are a little different. That's pretty much it. So pretty much the Hot Wheels is a little bigger. But as far as dimensions and looks, they pretty much got it right. But I think... Usually with Hot Wheels, unless I think Japanese Historics is a little more accurate. But usually, even with the premium models, the cars are closer to being 161 scale. If not 161 scale, sometimes the older cast are even closer to 155. But for what it is, they did, they deserve, because this car looks just looks looks like you know what it is the paint job is is great too I like the wheels on it too <sighs> next we got this nissan gtr and this came from the random act of kindness box from Diecast Clown, Cardwell Garage, as did the Honda Civic Coupe, which I could not find in my local Target or Walmart. I don't know what happened with that. People were just taking the cases or cases were that behind. I know at, at least at my Target location, we're probably like three or four cases behind. Walmart is worse. It's probably like close to five or six, maybe even seven cases behind. They keep up with premiums, but oh well. And I collect this casting, and I have a green light version that I had for many years now. Probably should have got one of my other Hot Wheels versions. And it's probably a little unfair because this one has lens headlights, but mainly for the dimension. And dimensions don't look that bad. The green light's actually bigger and wider, even though it has a paint discrepancy. Quality control issue. It just, I don't know, that's rust or. I don't think it was rust. I think it was it was always like a chip there, a bubble or something in the paint. A flaw, as they say. They got the dimensions pretty much. You can get headlights and taillights. And lately, they've been doing the, uh, this car dirty. A couple of times. I remember, was it the Grokzilla? Was it, I think it was the Grokzilla, which was uh, Tanner Foss's, uh, plus we his, caught one of his cars, and it didn't have, I don't think it had taillights. I think it had headlights, but it, it didn't have taillights. But taillights are back in this, in this one. Different color wheel. Of course, this is more accurate. Of course, but this this is what you get for basic entry cars. Not bad. People say I don't know where you going where you're going to the store now. Hot Wheels regular in some stores. The main lines are up to two dollars a piece. In some cases, at least a dollar fifty. 
unless it's on sale. You might get one for 99 cents. Some locations, they give you 10, 10 for 10 or something like that. But this is a, a can be up to, I think this is a $7.99 car. If I remember right. Probably ordered it online, so it's a little more. <clears throat> Mindful of the time. Uh, next, we're going to do uh, a couple of cars. Save the piece of all the resistance. Uh, let's do this Majorette. I was able to get this Majorette at Target. And it, it's a pretty cool car. I, I don't like the wheels on this. I think it's kind of gaudy. I'd rather want some off-road, more off-road looking wheels. But it's kind of growing on me. And the doors and the... Uh, Hood open on this one. The doors are kind of stiff. At least one of them. For some reason, with with doors that open, it's always one door that's stiffer than the other one. I don't know why. It just is. Excuse me, folks. I'm out here wrestling with this. Let's open the hood. <laughs> may not get, may not, now the hood don't want to open. There it is. That's the hood. And I don't know if that's authentic to the model. I don't really, I mean, I've seen Range Rovers, been aware of them since, what, like the 90s. I lived in a suburban neighborhood, and before the actual Range Rover was a thing, you did see the Defender and the Discovery Land Rover vehicles a lot. But people actually used them for what they were for. I mean, they, they did do some urban. They did just basically drive them around. But you had a lot of people who went camping or they went to more rural areas, traveled to more rural areas and went skiing or something like that or hunting or fishing. And they would have older models of these. Interiors, at least it, it's not a block. And it's not the same color. So, I mean, I give them a, probably a C, the effort. The doors are kind of awkward. But even with Green Light and Johnny Lightning, when they have open the door figures, sometimes their doors are awkward. M2, too. The winch is kind of goofy looking. So I like the fact that it's detailed. The detail on it is pretty good. Indicators. Headlights look good. The grill looks good. That's why I picked it up. A lot of people, I, I left that GTO and that Mustang. I mean that GTR and that Mustang on the pegs and this has probably been my fourth or fifth time doing that and i'm not buying that gtr from a uh, majorette i don't care how shiny you paint is it looks ugly the wheels are ugly everything about it it just just doesn't appeal to me i can live with this especially delivery like this part right here all this in the paint job it looks like it's like an older Land Rover. It looks cool. Uh, 
Next, let's get into uh, this Nice 1969 Nissan Patrol with the surfboards I got from uh, I had this from Hobby Lobby, which I don't know, they don't really. I think it's an older model. It's a 2019 Hobby Lobby, man. It, 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 sometimes they just, whatever they have in their stock, they just, yeah, we'll take that and take it out the box. It's like they don't pay attention or something. Target has a better selection when they have premium than they do. And this is a Nissan Patrol. It's got pretty cool. It's got features. It's got the skinny wheels. It's got a real retro look. This top comes off. And I like that it has a snapping feature. Unlike what they did with my Blazer and a couple other models. I think the XLT truck. I don't have it here. This one. Oh man, that top it it <laughs> it, it just bothers me, man. The wind blowing it fall off. But they did some kind of uh mechanism. Well they put some pegs in place to snap it in. Only thing I don't like it comes with a spare wheel and they got these holes up here but the spare wheel falls off. So I'm like for real when it was packaged like that. So if the wheel matches these though, it's not Mix match came with these surfboards, which I don't know what you're supposed to do with these surfboards. I see they have pegs on them, but I don't know. Maybe those are for figures or something. They match the uh, and they were. A rubber band up there, and I'm not keeping that rubber band up there. The rubber band takes away from the paint, even though it's a plastic one. Uh, you leave that on a little bit, call the discrepancy in the paint. So let's go with my other little items. It's a pretty cool for $7.99. Something to diversify the collection. Uh, it's it's the entry level model, so that's the top open, so you're not gonna get the hood open. Last but not least, uh, I got this Johnny Lightning Monte Carlo SS. I have been stalking for a little while. A limited edition one of two thousand five hundred. It's part of that little storage collector's storage 10 series, which I had a GMC Typhoon and a Chevy Vega from this series. And it came out, it came out last year, but I think it came out near the end. So, this is a 10. And it's an 87 Chevy Monte Carlo SS and white. I have a Johnny Lightning version of the same car. Unfortunately, even though this one was $12 and some change, <laughs> the hood does not open. You get a lot of detail though. Nice headlights, nice wheels. They look like Monte Carlo wheels. Uh, the rear looks like a Monte Carlo. And I forgot, is this an 87? I don't know if this is an 86 or 87. They're around the same. No, this is an 84. Which is, I had an 82. That was my first car. And that was in the late 90s. And it, it ran better, believe it or not, than some of my friends who had cars. Who were only two or three years older than mine. They used to joke on my car. My car was clean though. Even though it was used, it was clean. Came with craggers and everything. 
White leather BF good wrench tires and everything. <clears throat> The green light is definitely wider, which older Johnny Lightnings, they're usually narrow. And it is a wide, big card, man. It's been time, I remember fitting like up to four, three, at least three adults comfortably, four adult males in my car from work and everything. I was a designated driver. And this one, of course, has so much more detail. I think Johnny Lightning probably killed this. Probably the only thing that Greenlight has over this is their wheels look more authentic. Even though these could be aftermarket wheels. They look similar. So it's a good addition to the collection. I'm glad when I got this one, I got this one instead of the one from Breaking Bad, which is red, I think, and it has some ugly wheels. Ugly wheels. This is a pretty cool one. I love these G bodies. Uh, GM. Uh, what is it? Late 70s. Well, yeah, late 70s to the early 90s cars. They're called G-bodies. They're uh, full. I think they're full size. They're the coupe, the two-door models. Buick Regal, Chevy Monte Carlo, and Oldsmobile Cutlass were the three biggest models. It was related models, I think, to... I think the Pontiac Le Mans or Grand Prix was another one. That's pretty much it, man. I don't want this to be 30 minutes. Uh, that's awesome. And it's number 31. Like I always say, not the best diecast channel, but not the worst. Model here is show a little love to the die cast. Random viewers, I encourage you to subscribe. Hit the notification button so you have access to all the content. I would like to thank my subscribers. I hope everybody's doing well. Peace and blessings. This has been Oz and Ends, number 31.